frightens every single man and it's in the back of their head all the time is a problem that will occur eventually. It's called ED. ED it stands for erectile dysfunction. Now an erection depends upon two systems working simultaneously, the circulatory system and the neurologic system. And yes, there are diseases that can cause a problem on the neurologic side, like multiple sclerosis or a herniated back somewhere. In addition, the circulatory system that's embarrassed by either a clot or heart disease or arterial sclerotic disease will also cause a problem. As a matter of fact, six months before most heart attacks, men have discovered they're having problems with getting and maintaining a good erection. The other causes, of course, are hormonal, low testosterone, too much estrogen, diabetes. These are issues that also ensue. And then there's a disease in about 10% of men called Peyronie's disease. Peyronie's disease is an exaggerated curvature of the penis. Now, as we age, the penis already will change its curvature. But this is, as I said, an exaggerated change, and it's very painful for men, and typically happens because of sometimes unknown or known sexual trauma. Once in a while, it's also caused by blood pressure medicines as well. And don't forget the number one cause of erectile dysfunction, which happens to be, of course, psychologic. Are we under too much pressure to perform? Are we expecting too much of ourselves? Once you put this picture together, a good history and a good physical, hormone testing and regular blood testing can basically give you the answer. And if you're stressed out or under a lot of tension, relaxation exercises or talking to someone. And you know, a good partner, a loving partner will trust in you, take their time with you and understand and support you in this issue. That's what this is all about. We'll do more of this soon because I am Dr. Mitch. And thank you so much for watching.